five, four. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to style combat boots. I have five different looks I have put together with combat boots. I scored these boots when I was on my trip in Vancouver. And originally I was going after a pair of Doc Martens, but when I tried them on, I just really wasn't feeling them. And the sales associate ended up bringing out a pair of Vigabond. If you don't know what this brand is, I highly recommend you check it out. I will be putting the link below for you to check it out because this brand has absolutely nailed it when it comes to shoes in general. I have another pair that I bought last year or the year before and I have to say that they are just the most styled on trend shoes but also classic and if you've been following me for however long it is you know that classic is definitely something I always go after because I think about having things for a long time not a short time. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tamara and I'm a personal stylist. I answer all your questions on style trends and how to style with purpose. I teach everyday women how to really find their confidence starting from their own closet. And I'm sure you're thinking, I don't have anything in my closet to wear, so where do I even begin? Well, if you would like to learn more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to join me every week for new style videos, but also to learn how to think differently when it comes to your own personal style. Now let's get going on these combat boots. As you can tell, I am just so honestly excited. I guess I could scream a little bit, but then that would be weird. Anyways, let's get started. For outfit number one, I have a snake print long skirt that has pleats in it. I absolutely adore this skirt. I'm not really one to go towards leopards, so when I found this last year, honestly, I don't even remember when I bought it, but I think it was actually gifted from my mom. Anyways, the point is, is that I prefer a snake print over a leopard print. I know that leopard print is far more popular and you could definitely use that as an alternative if that's what you prefer or if you have it in your own closet. I paired it with a black turtleneck and this outfit is something that I can wear with a pair of heels but obviously for this video I'm pairing it with a pair of combat boots. Now don't forget tights. Tights are important because not only do they help to keep the warmth of your legs but it's part of the outfit so you can go really fun with a print for the tight or you can do something sheer. I actually did a video on this last year and everybody really enjoyed it so if you would like to watch the video you can find it in the description below or I'll put it up here somewhere. This outfit is really bold because you've got a very masculine shoe paired with a pleated very flowy feminine skirt and this is what's great about fashion is that you can really take outfits and combine masculine and feminine looks together to create a whole outfit and for a coat if you want to put you know a longer coat on or maybe you want to do something sort of short like a short bomber jacket or puffer jacket it's really great to accentuate on the skirt because that would be the main focal point but whatever type of coat that you have you want to make sure that one obviously you're warm and then two it really ties in with your outfit so even a black coat would be perfect look number two is a sweater dress I scored this dress at dynamite and I just want to be clear that no part of this video is sponsored I wanted to share some of the brands and where I bought things so that if there's something that intrigues you you know where to start because I know that sometimes shopping can be slightly overwhelming so sometimes you just want to know where things are from because trust me I do a lot of research or digging when it comes to finding out where things are or if I'm trying to find something that I'd like to replicate I am trying to take that task away from you so that you don't have to actually dig where things are from. You can also follow me on Instagram because I also disclose it there but that's totally up to you. We can find it below or my name will be again somewhere here. All right let's go back to the video. This dress is super cozy and I found it not too long ago. 
I think that, you know, having a sweater dress is such a great piece to have in your wardrobe because not only can you use it as a layering piece, but you can also use it just to wear it as is. For this outfit, I'm just wearing the dress as is. I've paired it with a pair of tights that are fishnet and they have the Gucci emblem, if you can see that. If not, I purchased that as a very small little treat to myself for the year for a pair of tights yes they're kind of ridiculously priced but again they're Gucci pay for the name materialistic blah 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 and all that stuff but with that being said they are definitely like butter they have a wonderful wonderful elastic band and I love them because that's why I bought them anyways paired with the combat boots this is such a great look again something really fitted as a dress it's very feminine showing off your curves I don't think I have a lot of curves to speak to but you know what I mean the belt really helps to pull in my waist to create a little bit of that hourglass and I can also swap the belt that comes with the dress out and put on a black belt if I want and this helps to carry the outfit and change it up a little bit you can put a colored belt it's totally Totally up to you. This dress again does offer versatility and it's something that can be worn into the springtime. Something that I always think about when I am purchasing outfits is that I want something that will carry for a few seasons in terms of fall, winter, and then spring and summer. When you have clothes that are interchangeable, then it makes getting dressed a little bit easier. So things are not fully dedicated to one season. Now, I would definitely pair this with a puffer jacket just to feel nice and cozy when going out or you can wear a long coat. Either way, this look is super great because I don't have other words to describe it. It's fabulous, I don't know. You tell me in the comments if you like it. I really love it and something I'll be wearing a lot this winter. Another dress option is something that I've carried over from the summertime. Now this dress is a little bit darker, so it's actually quite a number of layers. So I have a very tight bodycon uh, dress underneath that is black, and then the dress that goes on top is very sheer. It's sheer literally top to bottom. And then I have a black turtleneck. Again, tights are optional of whether you want something sheer or if you want something printed or even fishnet. I have paired it with my Gucci ones. I guess I'm just going to stick on that trend. Anyways, this outfit is if you're wanting something a little bit darker, something that's cozy and has a little bit of movement. So it's kind of funny because I think the sheer dress came from my aunt. I'm not actually sure. I think it is. It has to be hers because a lot of things within my family, mostly because of my Nona and even my aunt, would be very interchangeable. I also have things that belong to my mom. She still gives me things and I think it's really cool that I'm able to create these outfits with pieces that belong to my family members. I think it's important to really expand when it comes to your personal style. Instead of always, you know, going to what everybody else is wearing, try to get creative whether you're thrifting or even going through someone's closet if it's a friend a family member I mean I think this is a way for you to really push yourself get creative and if you can do an exchange with friends or even with family then obviously that's nicer on your pocketbook did I just say pocketbook I just aged myself um, and I'm not that old or am I I don't know anyways so, love this outfit. It's another classic piece. It's really dark, but you can always add a really colorful belt just to add a little more pizzazz to it. Or if you wanna keep everything really neutral, you can keep with a black belt or even pull in some grays just cause there is a little bit of gray in the overall sheer dress. Let's get to some pants. Now, I don't typically do a lot of dresses, but I hope that gives you a few different ideas of different dresses, skirts that you can use. Even if you did a mini skirt, that would also make for a really cute outfit, or if you wanna do something a little bit more A-line, something to the knee, it's totally up to you. Let me know in the comments below which skirt you would go for. A mini skirt, a sort of mid-size skirt, or would you do more A-line or something a little bit longer? 
The next outfit is another just go-to, really simple. All you need is a pair of jeans. I've paired it with a long sleeve white shirt and threw on a blazer. This is something that is not only comfortable, it's put together. A blazer is always a sleek piece to have because it really helps to complete the outfit. I really love the black boot because it's something that, again, is a little bit stronger, a little bit more on the masculine side, and it's got a and it has that tomboy feel. This again is another outfit that I would wear on a very regular basis, but lately I've been wearing all black jeans. So let me know in the comments below if you like this outfit, what would you rate it? Ooh, yeah, what would you rate these outfits out of 10? I definitely would love to hear what your ratings would be. And the last and final outfit is probably, again, just another go-to. All of the outfits that I always share are go-to outfits because I want to make sure that I'm sharing things that you can actually wear. Because I find that, yes, fashion can be really out there, but at the end of the day, we do need to, you know, have clothes that we can wear on a regular basis and when we go to the grocery store. So for this outfit, I've paired it with a nice pair of skinny black jeans, the combat boots. The top can really be anything you want. I've paired it with this printed silk shirt, and this again was another Nona piece. I have a lot of her clothes, and so as much as I can implement it into these videos, I do, and again, this is something very fall, winter. I love that it ties around the neck. I can make a bow out of it, or I can just wear it as a long tie. So again, it offers that versatility in the outfit, but also something feminine and masculine coming together. If you'd like to track your own style but not sure where to start, I do have my free style guide. I will also be hosting a free masterclass in my Facebook group called How Can I Wear That? The live will be all about the style guide and if you'd like to see the video of the pre walkthrough, you can find it in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video and definitely want to see more of these style videos, be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I can make more. I really enjoy making these videos. I find them to be a lot of fun and it also gives me a little bit of a workout. And don't forget to share this with your friends and inspire them to style themselves and find different ways to create different looks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to join me every week so you can get notified on new videos and like I always say at the end of all of my videos it's not about who you wear but how you wear it I will see you in the next one bye that's a wrap